Welcome, welcome. Um, before we start the bracha, I just want to explain that um, I'd made reference a couple of days ago to a wonderful commentary that I'd come across um, by a gentleman whose name escaped me at the time. And his name, he's known by Malbim. That's uh, an acronym for his name. I believe it's uh, Mayor Leib or Mayor Leibish uh, Ben Yechiel Michel. And uh, he wrote an incredible commentary on, on the Tanakh, or rather on the Torah and on other books of the Tanakh, etc. Some of which has been translated, but the material that I'm referring to, as far as I can tell, there is no translation in English to uh, to his commentary. So I'm going to go ahead and make the bracha, and then we're going to dive into it, and I'll say a little bit more by way of overview. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher kitshana b'mitzvotav v'tzivanu la'asok b'direi Torah. Amen. Amen. And uh, I happen to know this is Lisa Iskin's dad's yard site, Jack Iskin, so we'll dedicate this uh, lesson, the Imri Nishmato, to the elevation of his soul. Let me see if I can find easily the text. I'll show you one text that I have. Oh, he, he called his commentary HaTorah Vahami HaMitzvah. And uh, I'll sh show you one version here in my screen share. And we may go to the Sparia version, which is easier to read. This is the version that uh, I found online. There's a, a website that has uh, texts that are just copied like that. And that's where I got the Torah Tmima too. So this is, you can see it's very similar to what you've seen in the text that we use, which is Torah Tmima. So here is the text. And here is, this doesn't have a, at least on this page, it doesn't have Onkelos. Here's a commentary, Baal HaTurim. Uh, it's a, it's a basically remez. It, the nature of the commentary is illusions. But here is Rashi, essential Rashi. Site Chachamim is a super commentary on Rashi. And so he called his commentary HaTorah, the HaMitzvah. All right. And this is called Rim, Ramze, I guess I'm going to pronounce it. Ramze HaMishkan the illusions of the tabernacle. And we are going to look at, this is a vision of what this is about. You know, of what I, I've mentioned many times that I understand religion as an attempt for human beings to try and understand their relationship to the universe. In other words, in trying to answer the question, what purpose do we have in being alive, period? Uh, if we want to go beyond just personal satisfaction, but if we want to try and, and view our lives in a grander kind of way as to why human life is so significant, we're going to put, we're going to have to push beyond and try to understand this a sense of the universe and the place we have in it, and that every religion has its own way of understanding this. So I'm going to try and do the best I can with this. As I said, there is no English translation. And so I'm depending on my knowledge of Hebrew, to, such as it is, and a dictionary, both Jastro and a dictionary I found online, or Jastro wasn't helping me anymore. So, Kvar Noda, it is already known, or should I say, you know, well known, Shekol Halomot, that all the different worlds that you can take, you can look at the entire universe. This is a concept of universe. When you use the term universe, right, that is an idea of the unity of the entire experience, entire of all of reality. And he says, like a one human being that we can use, in a sense, this model of the human being to describe the entire universe. And, and you'll see as we get into this, and the nature of the relationships of this universe. So in other words, that you, the human being can be seen, the model, it's a model of, of the universe. 
and all of reality, or mitziot, all realities, nikra b'shem ha'adam ha'gadol. There's a mystical term that refers to the universe as the great human being, right? The great human being. It's not that it's a human being. Please understand, it's a metaphor, but it's a pattern and it's a model of looking at the universe as a human being. Piresh. In other words, he said, shekamo sheko evare adam, just as all the various components of a human being, hagam shekol echad mehem hu mi meze v'tchuna miyuchedet, that even though each and every one, every aspect of the human form, right, has its own unique attributes and dispositions, right? The hand isn't like the eye. You don't see with your ear. In other words, every part of the human being <clears throat> is distinct. There's a distinctive, uh, to a greater or less extent, in the in the makeup of a human form that 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 has you know every element which is has its own unique att attributes and dispositions. Hey, mit achnim. However, they all unite the yot ish echad in order to be a human being. So, as a human being, right, as an individual, we are actually made up of various and sundry component parts. Okay, the kulam kashurim kitsatam and all of them, and I think he means here, are connected, Kshurim, are connected, more or less, right? I think, whether more or less, but they're all, or, or he's saying that every one of them is connected, and each and every component of the human being completes, complements its neighbor, its other part, its, right? to the point that if if a specific limb is missing or one sinew, a muscle, right? It becomes a defect and a lack, right? You're missing something. In the entire body. Kain kol hamitziot, and in a similar way, all the uh, elements. I think mitziot could be. Uh, I think could be go several ways, but I think he's talking about the various components. Okay, various real realities, right? The haolamot and the various universes, the various worlds, the galaxies, right, etc. Ein mispar without number. Without number, Asher bara Hashem, which God created, Heim Aruchim, they are arranged, Umesudarim, and they're ordered, Kiish Echad, just like an individual, like a person, Ugvia, and a body, Kolelet, uh, in general, right? Something that includes the body, that includes all of this, or general body. If I and if if any of you have a better translation, but I think it's like inclusive. The kulam kshurim zebazet, and every one of them is connected one to the other. The chol echad holech malach hashleimut, and each and every one of them goes in a path. Hashleimut means completion, something like that. The hashlim. Le, um, oh, I'm sorry. I thought I had this, but okay. And ulaha something. I can't make out this. Uh, I can go back to Safari and see the better print there. Agbiahakalalit, the general body, right? In other words, each and every part of the universe, in its own motion, in its own, in its own reality, etc., actually complements. The rest of the universe, kashir yashlimu haguf, just as the component parts of the body, right, fulfill or complete et haguf bichlal. They they um, full, they complete the in the general the notion of the body in general. 
And just as with a human being, his root, right, his source, who Haneshama, is the souls, the Haneshama Ha Elohit, is this divine spirit, this divine soul. In other words, he's talking now about that element of our experience, such as consciousness, right? That's not something that's physical in and of itself. In, an, in, this, in other words, in trying to, to grapple with this very notion of vitality, right? But we believe it has a divine source to it, that it's basically God who is allowing us to operate, that behind each and every individual's life and vitality is this divine spark that is generating it. This is what gives life, right? Vitalizes the entire body. And it, um, I, well, I'm saying influences, right? But it's it has an effect on it. It causes it. Its ability to move and its ability to understand. Those very basic elements that when we die, no longer are there to allow us to exist in this particular way. And if this, this spiritual, right, this divine spiritual spark separates from the body, as kol ha'evarim heim atzamot meitot, then all the various limbs become uh, dead bones, mefuzarot, scattered. They don't hold together anymore. Kein ha'elohut, and so likewise, the divine, the divine element, amid pashetet, which spreads out, uveshofat, and I tried so it to swath, right? This idea of it just uh, enveloping, right? Um, um, aura, its light, the chiyuta, and its vitality, the chol ha'olamot, in all the worlds. Ki nefesh adam, and that we compare to the nefesh, the soul of Adam Agadol, so we call that, sorry, just to clarify that, I, I was mis going in a wrong direction here, but that that divine element that causes the universe to exist and be in motion and all the various elements can be called the soul of the, the great human being, right? Because we're saying that we can call the universe this great human being, as if this. And this is what ties together, what binds the various and general, this general body. And that is to say, all these multitudinous worlds, from beginning to end, and we can sort of visualize this as a complete um, entity, ugvia khalit, and an, uh, and a general uh, body, sheba yitrae, and through it, through this, can be seen kochmato, his wisdom, or the wisdom shel yotzeb reishit of the one who formed creation, of the creator. In other words, that in in the um, the vitality, the complexity, the diversity of the 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 largeness and the smallness, the microcosm and the macrocosm, we can see the presence of this ultimate divine creator. And that effect on this physical universe as we understand it. Okay, is evidence of this creator, just as our own lives can be similarly understood, that we have a divine spark that allows us 
to be conscious, to live, to love, to, to experience all the various ways in which we do. Because his wisdom, right, something like that, is his essence, something like that. Yitbarach, may he be blessed. Hashofa or shofea, the whole haomot, which um, exude something like that or influences all the universes. Mizehatzad, from this perspective, shehu pone et haolamot, lahaniam, that he directs something like that to give a direction all the the these various worlds the honey um to give them motion right, to move them ula honey gum and to direct them or they hit sorry I'm just trying to lay hit no tum I think is what this is saying and uh, and uh, mm, I'm not comfortable with that let's see what this could be. Oh, I, I'm looking at the Sfari uh, and it says uh, Lahachayotam. Yeah, I just realized that. And to give them life, to give them vitality. Ki ha'ensof, because the eternal one, the 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 uh, infinite one, right? The one who never ends. Kefi ma shavu According to his own essence, hu ne'elam, he, he is, it is unknowable. The tachlit ha'elam or ha'elim, it is complete. That that the very, in other words, trying to understand God, God or the divine, in its essence, is beyond, totally beyond understanding. We can only, you know, we say God is known through His works, right? Rachoma shechazu bo and to the and to the extent that the prophets were able to to see right or they 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 were able to perceive him the prophets the hisigu mimenu hachachamim and the sages uh, gained understanding of him right uh, to the extent that they were able to to approach it it means to understand lahasig something like that who rock mizehatzad it's only from this this element this part point shehu nefesh haolamot to the extent that he is the nefesh right the soul haolamot of the universes the chayotam and gives them life right is the life of them the rucham their spirit the nishmatam again neshama again also referring to the the non physical elements of this. And through this, they compared him, right? To a soul which is clothed within the body. And it gives life to all its component parts, right? Its, its limbs and its sinews Ukanotal, uh, I think cannot. Um, you can again help me there, but I think it's got to do with, um, if I'm not mistaken, like the various organs and and uh, nerves and and um, you know our digestive system, etc. Umitrae bechol ever and can be seen in every limb. Kefima sheyachil ha'evo to uh, according to the degree to which the the limb can encompass the hakli uh, hahu and that particular vessel of in other words I think it's talking to the fact that the different functions of the body and how they are all operating the the, the ability for their ability to operate has to do with this divine element that is being um, uh, put into them. That's, that's uh, yeah, okay, let it for that. The mashal, for example, the moach in the mind, right, or the brain, mit ra'e kenefesh hamaskelet. You could say that 
uh, the the brain is understood as the soul that is understanding the rational something like that rational soul the live and the the heart as the essential i'm saying i'm not sure okay uh etc in other words we understand the brain to function in a particular way you know how it controls the various elements and it's the part in which we would say we think etc right that we can reason etc and to, to whatever degree we've able we've been able to uh define what the brain or or discover what the brain how the brain functions in relationship to the best of the body uh we understand that if your heart stops pumping and 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 the uh circulation system etc you know the the function of the heart and in a similar way, the divine uh, uh, the, the divine um, spreads out, right? In the great universe. The whole olam in every universe the, or world, world, the fima sheyachil klei ha'olam haru. To whatever degree that particular, I'd say, vessel, right? of the world that particular vessel is able to um endure or to include to include something like that and just as the soul in a man he ikar adam is the very uh, root of the human being adam and when we're talking about a human being that is the essential element that we're referring to and not the body but rather the that that very essence of that human being the haguf urak halavush and we see the body simply as a clothing achitzon as an external clothing shebo yit balesh in which adam hapnimi in which the inner human being clothes himself clothes himself because the nishama, this soul, which is the true human being, is the genuine human being, its powers, its energy, whatever, is seen through, through the body, right? And through its works, through what it does, Al yedei ha'evarim by means of these limbs shehi mit balesh mit laboshet bahem through which the soul clothes itself. Okay, pain ha'elohut and likewise the divine element ha'mit laboshet the adam ha'gadol also clothes itself in the grand physical universe. Right in the entire physical universe shehi kemitziut haklali which is the overall reality is what I said. Klali could be uh, something that incorp incorporates or it's got to do generally with something on a large scale level. So likewise, the divine element is the root of this, of the universe, right? This broad sense of the human, of, you know, that we're using a human being as the model of this. The Nikra Beshem Adam, and it is also referred to as a human being, right? As an Adam. She Amru, and regarding this, our sages of blessed memory, and he gives the reference in Bamidbar Rabbah, etc., and Midrash Kohelet, uh, in the Midrash on the book of Ecclesiastes. Gadol Kulchan Shalnevi'im, great was the power of the of the prophets shemidamim gvura shamala who compare right or uh, equate the power this higher power the tzurat adam in the shape and the form of a human being and he says uvevere shit raba this is another reference he he gives shemidamim hatzura liyotzra who compare the creature to its creator. And that's where, okay, um, I'm going to stop here.
And frankly, what I would do is I'm going to go to Safari. Give me a moment just to show you something. All right, let's go to here. Let's see where, what I can find. Uh, here it is. Okay, so a lot clearer, right? The Hebrew is a lot clearer. And I was thinking about, you know, struggling with the Rashi, and yet there's something about en encountering the Rashi with all its uh, challenges that in some ways it seems to, I don't know, satisfy uh, the uh, the idea of this being a quest and the fact the fact that it's not so, you know, clearly printed in some ways, you know, according to the effort is the reward, and that the fact that it's a little bit more of an effort actually also makes it rewarding. The quote is um, uh, the feat uh, Tsara Agra. It's a quote from Pirkei Avot. So now we're going into a different element. So this Ramzeha Mishkan is a special additional commentary that the Malbim wrote over his regular commentary. And this goes into his regular commentary. And I, I feel that at this point, we can look at this and we can save it for tomorrow. Uh, and, and you'll see how knowing the background I just gave you today is going to help you with, with what we're going to read here. And just to take the very first uh, little statement he says, so Asuli Mikdash, this is where the very beginning of Parsha Truma, where God tells Moses, let them make me a sanctuary, right? Or make a sanctuary for me. And he says, Kfar bi arti. I have already explained the Ramze Hamishkan, right? That's the name of that little section that we were looking at. And it's it's major. It goes on for pages, by the way, because he goes into detail as to the various components and their significance. She inyan hamishkan, hayak futsat kol nefashot Yisrael, Okay, that the, the issue of the tabernacle, right, was a collection, right, the idea of collectively taking into account all the souls of Israel, the Komash Lema, for a, as a one, as one stage, something like that, Koma, sometimes known as a, the a floor of a building, etc. But here we go. In other words, one body, let's call it that, just for clarification, which is which is relating to right the divine Shiba Olam Hagadol. There he is talking about Olam Hagadol, right? The great, the the universe, the universe. Okay, so I'm going to stop here and stop the share. And if any of you have anything you'd like to add here, I mean this is. This is the reason we're not starting here, right? I mean, this is why we start with Chumash and Rashi before we start diving into this very deep kind of stuff. But I still wanted you to have a taste and I would like to continue with this a little bit tomorrow. And uh, if you'd like for the record, just to share any thoughts you have about this. Okay, I'll just stop the share, stop the recording.